And now, my summary for Chapter 4 of The Book of Boba Fett. Right into the flashback till we get Boba riding a bantha to Jabba's palace. Now belonging to Bib Portuna, there's no telling how stacked it is with security. Bantha eat meat, but they have flat teeth. We quickly find out that this, this is the night that Boba met Fennec. Rather found Fennec, then he takes her to a cyborg punk station, fixes her up, then off they fly to the palace to reclaim Slave One. Fennec pulls out her little Death Star grinder, then sends it into the palace to take scans. Boba shows he has a heart with a playful goodbye to his Bantha. Then the scans come back in and we see Boba with the look of I knew I should have made a left turn at Albuquerque. Because this joint is guarded like Tony Montana's house. Not at all related to Hannah Montana, but wouldn't that be interesting? They opt for the stealthy approach, taking out the kitchen droids, including Grievous's grandson who was on Tatooine on a culinary internship. They make it to the ship where Finnick holds off the guards while Boba picks a fight with the walls before making their getaway. What the walls ever did to Boba, I don't know. Now, if you're a big fan of Sons of Anarchy, then you are out of luck, because this first mission is to wipe them out, which he does in a spectacular fashion and with great, great ease. Blowing them away with blasters as they speed across the desert, taking out the leader of the pack with a missile. Sorry, Jax, but it's better than hitting a semi head on. No more running guns for the Irish here. Here. Dude, guys, did he forget he was stripped of his armor after he crawled out of the pit? No sense. No sense at all, I tell ya. They go back to the Sarlacc pit where it tries to eat Slave One, but Fennec drops a seismic charge into the pit. This, guys, is where we get the third coolest sound in Star Wars. Boba crawls into the pit, somehow surviving the dreaded acid, and comes up short-handed. A campfire session brings about the official teaming up of Boba and Fennec. Now back to the present time, our man is totally healed and it's time to get back to the city and maintain a presence. First stop is the Pleasure Palace, of course, where Black K was looking salty. He'd started a bar fight before Boba arrived, then we finally get to see it. We saw a Wookiee rip the arms off of something and I'll never be able to stand again. After after that audition, how could he not offer BK a job? We're now at a sit-down with the three syndicates controlling Mos Espa, where he uses his new pet to uh, help reinforce his position. Then he requests an alliance to fight the Pikes, which is shot down, but they do agree not to side against him. We end with Boba and Finnick up on the balcony talking about the need for muscle. Finnick says she's got the hook, and then the Mandalorian theme kicks in, and it is fire. Thank y'all so much for joining me for this week's summary of The Book of Boba Fett here on this irreverent review, the audiobook of Boba Fett. Uh, we will be back next week. Check out the other great content on this channel. Until then, thank you all so very much. Have a great night.